Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss about linear search for multiple occurrence. Suppose if I into the number 6, so total number I into n to the array 6, or uh, this all of 7, 9, 11, 12, 9, 6. So I do 9 occurs 2 times. So I want to display the output 9 is present at 2 and 9 is present at 5. In my last example, or uh, suppose I enter this elements, so the output come only 9 is present at 2. So this time whenever I enter multiple occurrence number, so suppose if I enter 9 one more times at this point, so I enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the next output come 9 is present at 7. So let's do it. Next, I'm going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Here, after that, coincides. So, right here, I've taken five integer variables. First is i, or second n, next a double r. So, a double r is array time variable. So, I've given the size 155. So, maximum you can enter 155 elements into the array. 
If you want more, then increase the size right here. So next variable LOC and next CNT. So CNT value initialized to zero right here. Here have to print a function. So whatever in double code that display into the output screen and whatever I'm going to enter, so that received by n. So right here, I'm going to enter n value 5. Now print a function again. So this or display into the output screen. So as and then cursor comes to the new line. Here after control comes to for loop. At your i value start from 0. Check the condition 0 less than n value 5. Condition is true. A scanner function. So let's enter elements into the array. So a double r o i value 0. So first I'm going to do the indexing of a double r. So this is a zero index. One, two, three, and four. So I do a door or zero position. Let's enter the element. So I'm going to enter four. Here after that, go up, increase the value of i. So i is one now. Check the condition one less than five. Condition is true. So that go inside. So I do. Let's enter a door or one position here. So I'm going to enter eleven at one position. Here after i increase, so i is 2 now. Check the condition 2 less than 5, condition is true, so that coincides. So let's enter a dollar 2 person new element. So I'm going to enter 6. Here after i increase, so i is 3 now. Or check the condition 3 less than 5, condition is true, so let's enter a dollar 3 person new element. So I'm going to enter 7. Here after i increase, so i is now. 4, check the condition, 4 less than 5, condition is true, so that coincide, let's enter 8 over 4 person new element. So I'm going to enter 11 at 4 person. Here after I increase, so I is 5 now. Let's check the condition, 5 less than 5, condition is not true, not coincide, now control comes to this point. Add your printer function, so in double code, whatever, that display into the output screen, so slash and then cursor comes to the element. Here after scanner function, so let's enter the value LOC, so I'm going to enter 11 so LOC is now 11 here after i value start from 0 check the condition 0 less than 5 condition is true so that coincides right here 8 over 0 position double equal to LOC 4 double equal to 11 condition is not true not coincide here after that go up increase the value of i so i is 1 now check the condition 1 less than 5 condition is true so that coincides right here 8 over 1 position double equal to LOC so 11 double equal to 11 condition is true that coincides here Printer function, so percent D, so per, this percent D is for LOC and this percent D is for I plus 1. So I have percent D 11, the output display 11 is percent at I value is now 1 plus 1, 2. So 11 at percent, 11 is percent 2. Now here after CNT increase, CNT is 1 now. So that out from if and here have to increase the value of i. So i is 2 now. Check the condition 2 less than 5 condition is true. That coincides so at 8 over 2 person double equal to LOC. 2 person is 6. 6 double equal to LOC value 11. Condition is not true. Not coincide. I increase. So i is 3 now. Check the condition 3 less than 5 condition is true. That coincides so at a, if 8 over 3 person double equal to LOC. So 3 person 6, 7 is there. 7 LOC value 11. 7 double equal to 11, condition is not true, not coincide here after i increase. So i is now 4. Check the condition, 4 less than 5, condition is true. So that coincide if 8 over 4 position double equal to LOC. So 4 position is 11 and LOC value 11. So 11 equal to 11, condition is true. That coincide, so at a percent, so at a 11 is percent i plus 1. So i value is now 4, 4 plus 1, 5. So the output display. 11 is percent 5 and here after CNT increase, CNT is not 2. So here after that out from if that go up, increase the value of i. So i is now 5. Check the condition 5 less than 5, condition is not true, not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. If CNT double equal to 0, so 2 double equal to 0, condition is not true. So that out from main function. Next time you should try to enter. I'll make n value 6. So here you can increase the index and here add 5 index. Let's enter element 11. 
So do the trial method like this and you will get the output 11 is percent at i value rich at 5, 5 plus 1, 6. And suppose if you into non matching elements in the array like uh, non matching elements to find. So suppose if I into LOC value of 9, so 9 is not present. So 1 by 1 check 4 equal to 9, 11 equal to 9, 6 equal to 9, 7 equal to 9, 11 equal to 9, 11 equal to 9. Condition is not true. So at your CNT value will become 0. So at your output come 9 not in the array and here after that output main function. So this is the drive method of this program. So I hope you understand. So thanks for watching. See you next time.